Hey guys, it's Ben here and it's been another jam-packed day of transfer news as Liverpool look to fill out their squad for next season. So we'll start with Borussia Dortmund striker Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Now it came out on Sunday via Le Parisien in France that he was interested in a move to Liverpool. Liverpool are interested in him. They're willing to pay 70 million euros. Well, Build in Germany have today said that the club are willing to sell him, but only before the end of July, and it will take a fee of 70 million euros. Now this did have a lot of people talking, a lot of excitement, a lot of speculation. It's a move that on the face of it would surely make sense for Liverpool. It would complete an electrifying front three with Salah and Mane and him. But the reliable Paul Joyce of the time has crushed all of our dreams by saying there's no interest from the Reds in Aubameyang. And Chris Bascom has even said that it's unlikely that we'll even sign any striker this summer. Now I'm not quite sure how to feel about this, I like Bobby Firmino as much as an X-Man. I do think he's an underrated centre forward. Number nine is clearly his best position. But is he the sort of striker that's going to fire Liverpool to the Premier League title? Scoring goals wasn't necessarily an issue for the Reds last season, and we're about to add Salah into the mix, who scores one in every other game from the wing himself. But a real elite centre forward would have really changed things, especially if Divock Origi, who had to play up front sometimes last season, did struggle at times. You can never really count on Daniel Sturridge's fitness, although I do believe he is among the best strikers in the Premier League. He's maybe the best finisher out there. If we're going to be battling in all these competitions next season with Champions League Football 2, I would have thought that one top quality striker would have been sensible. But from what all the Merseyside journalists are saying this week, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And that means that it looks like Sturridge will stay at Anfield. And this is not something I would have expected midway through last season. It just looked like Klopp really didn't fancy him. I'm not sure if it was his form towards the back end of the campaign that changed his mind or whether he is still for sale but just at the right price. The Daily Mail have said that the asking price for him is £40 million and West Ham and PSG who have been interested are not happy to pay that fee. So this season surely is the last chance for Liverpool Sturridge. If he can stay fit for three quarters of the season then maybe his Liverpool career can go on for a few more years. We all of course want that to be the case. We know that he's an absolutely top class striker. When he went through one on one against West Ham in that game at the end of the season which was crucial whether we were going to get top four, there's not many strikers in the league or in Europe that I would have chosen to bury that ahead of him and he did it with aplomb, he showed his class, he's someone that if fit and it's always if fit I'd love to have in around the squad. He will get games as part of that interchangeable front three that Liverpool play. We've seen him coming off the right a few times, he played on the left early in his career. So it looks like Liverpool's number nine options will remain unchanged going into 2017-18. Now an area in which we might see some change next season is in midfield. Liverpool continue to be linked with Naby Keita and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, particularly the former. But a piece by James Pearce in the Echo today says that Liverpool will keep Emre Chan even if he doesn't sign a new contract this summer. That means they're risking losing him on a free next year but they'd rather do that than sell him in this close season. Now this to me seems like something that should be a massive priority for Liverpool. The captain John Henson is of course going to be first choice at number six next season but his injury record is not looking great at the moment and we don't know if he's going to get back to his best. It's not the first time this has happened. He's been out for a prolonged period. Is he going to be the same Jordan Henderson when he does return? Emery Chan after a difficult first half of last season really came to the fore towards the end, just as he did the previous year during that Europa League run. It's well known that Juventus, the Italian champions, are interested in the German, and it just doesn't sit well with me. The clubs of that calibre are sniffing around him and we haven't got him tied down yet. Feels like there's a big risk that we could lose him for very little or for nothing, in fact, if he doesn't sign anything and it comes next summer and he runs his contract completely down. He's, of course, away with the Germany squad at the moment, so he's not going to be able to sign anything now, but I would hope that as soon as he gets back, something can be sorted out, even if it's just to protect his own value. I mean, I don't want to see Emre Chan leave Liverpool, especially though if it's not for what he's worth. And finally, Liverpool will need a left back this summer to replace the soon to be departed Alberto Moreno. He's been linked with both Milan clubs that would prefer a move to Spain, says Melissa Reddy. There have been links with Benjamin Mendy of Monaco, but I feel those links are quite tenuous. Talk of a 40 to 50 million pound price tag on him. Man City is still clear favourites to sign him. And the Mirror have said that Klopp could look at Celtic's young left back Kieran Tierney. He's a Scotland international, he's a regular for Celtic. I think this probably is the calibre of left back that the Reds will target, maybe Andrew Robertson or I'd like to see them go back in for Ben Chilwell, but I don't think the Reds are going to splash the cash on someone like Mendy. I think Klopp's happy with Milner as his first choice, but we obviously need a bit of cover there. I don't watch much Celtic, but Tierney's profile seems the right fit for Liverpool at the moment. So it looks like there'll be no marquee striker for Liverpool this summer and probably not a high profile left back either. Seems that the bulk of the rest of the budget will go on a 
centre midfielder and a centre back then it's just a case of filling out the squad leave a comment with your thoughts on that should Liverpool be going after someone like a Bemiang or Lacazette should they be going all guns blazing for a centre forward that could fire us for the title or should we go and get someone like Benjamin Mendy who's going to give us something different going forward from left back or do you think that Cater and Van Dijk or similar would be enough to shore up the spine of the team and then we could just buy some second choice players at left back and elsewhere and would that be enough to see a Liverpool challenge domestically and in Europe. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff, drop a like, share the video for me and follow my other socials, it's Ben Might Say on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time.